Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. God has blessed me today with an Instacart delivery from my subscriber and very dear friend Brenda. I'm going to take this upstairs and I will unpackage it and show y'all what I've got. Y'all, actually this is the second delivery today. It's 11.40. Brenda told me that they were going, going to deliver it between 8 and 10 this morning. So I set my clock for 7 to make sure I was up, and I actually woke up at 6. So I drank my coffee, I cooked my breakfast, I didn't take a shower or anything. I just sat right here in the recliner waiting for the doorbell to ring. And at, um, I think it was about 10.30, I called Brenda and I said, have you heard from DoorDash? And she said, yes, they canceled the order because they said that you didn't answer the door, that they waited for 15 minutes. I said, that's a lie. I said, they never brought it here. I've been sitting, I said, I've been sitting right here in the chair waiting. And it's not like I can miss the doorbell, it's the fire alarm. I mean, it's, it's enough to wake up the dead. So then she uh, went online and reordered it. So I got my food, y'all, look at that. This is awesome. Brenda is so sweet and thoughtful. Okay, so this bag has vegetables and meat. So I have um, Brussels sprouts, two bags of Brussels sprouts. She remembered how much I love those. And peeled baby carrots. What are these, a pound? Yeah, two pounds and steamed fresh broccoli and a pound of butter and this is the meat oh she bought me a steak a t-bone steak how sweet and i love the thin ones because they're so much easier to cook and look a big bag of uh, thigh fillets these are gorgeous i'm going to separate them and Seal them up in the seal meal that Brenda actually gave me. Oh, another uh, T-bone steak. These are beautiful. Brenda knows all about steak, y'all. She and her husband own a Black Angus farm in Texas. And uh, they sell the, their cattle for beef. Oh, and some, oh, these are the thin, oh yeah. I love the thin pork chops too. They fry up, fry up so nice and crispy. I will separate those and freeze them. And I got a pound of bacon and I really needed it because I ate my last two pieces this morning. <laughs> she got me some Vienna sausages. Another can of Spam, awesome. I want to make this um, with pineapple. My subscriber, Lynn Nora told me that she cooks it with, she dices it up. I believe she said she cooks it with um, pineapple, peppers. I don't remember. Did you say you put potatoes in it? Anyway, I took a screenshot of your comment so I would have the recipe. And look, vanilla Dunkin' Donuts creamer. Philadelphia cream cheese. I've been craving some bagels too. I can pick those up at Dollar Tree. Oh, and I love these little potatoes. Sunburst blend, bite-sized potatoes. We call them new potatoes on the farm. And bananas. And milk, whole milk. Y'all know me like a, like a book. You know exactly what I like. Another can of Vienna sausages. And she got me some coffee. Thank you, I was uh, running out of coffee. Oh yay, Ritz crackers. Love these, I, I'm gonna make a casserole and I'll break those up and put them on top with some butter. Oh, uh, she asked me did I need Splenda? I said yeah, I need a little box of the Splenda packets. And an avocado, this is a beautiful, beautiful array of food. Thank you so much, Brenda. I love you with all my heart and soul. Brenda is such a sweet Christian woman and she has been 
a subscriber of mine from the very beginning. She has sent me many shipments of food, and I just appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. So y'all please give me a thumbs up and share. And if you're new here, I would love it if you would subscribe. And most of all, y'all just keep on coming back. Bye, guys.